particularly in the closing plenary, which I think is actually the most uh, important one because this is really where, where we're talking about a call of action. This is where we are, uh, are gonna take all that we've heard and learned you know, from the past three days and, and uh, figure out how to turn all of that into action. So I think, you know, I love that aspect of, the, of this particular closing plenary because this is really what we're talking about, taking the energy inspiration from such, you know, wonderful speaker, speakers like, you know, Mr. Robinson and others and, and really also taking all that we've learned, all the information that we learned at the different workshops all throughout the past three days and even the enthusiasm that we've gathered, you know, from talking on the side conversations with our, you know, new and closed, uh, new and old friends. So the question is, like, how do we turn all of that into action? And, and also, this is really where we start the process. We start the process of rolling up our sleeves and really doing something together to uh, help families, you know, build assets, you know, build savings, build credit, and, and really doing away with, uh, you know, with a really disgraceful uh, wealth gap in America today. You know, as an as executive director of the Mission Asset Fund, uh, it's a small nonprofit organization, you know, dedicated to helping uh, financially excluded communities, particularly uh, low income and immigrants, really become visible, uh, active, and successful actors in the financial mainstream. What we learned soon enough in doing our work was that it didn't matter how successful we could be, we could be in helping individual families or individual uh, people uh, in build their savings or build their credit, because that, that wasn't enough. You know, we knew that we had to be a part of a broader conversation, a pro broader effort to, to, to be a part of policy change. And, uh, and that's what, what happened when we joined CFED's Assets and Opportunity Network. You know, we did that to do just that, to be a part of the policy conversation, to bring our insights and our perspective into the conversation and really create, you know, broader change than just the change that we could actually do with our, with our current uh, um, partners. And so the network is really is that vehicle that we can then channel all of our energy, all enthusiasm, all that we've learned in the past three days, and, and then really do something creative and really build something that is greater than ourselves. So I, so I welcome and I, uh, that I, the continued opportunity to participate in, in the network. And I, and I also want to invite everybody here to participate, because I think only together that we can actually make something happen. And then lastly, I, do, I definitely want to invite all of you to participate, to engage, to call, to visit our friends at the CFPB. We have friends at the CFPB that want your calls, that want your visits, that want to hear from you right now because they need your insights, they need your perspectives, they need you know, that idea that's going to make, them, make their work you know, a little bit better and a little bit easier. I mean, we are extremely fortunate to have a federal agency, that a regulatory agency that has the power to change the rules of the game and make the financial marketplace work for American consumers. Let me repeat that again, because I don't think we understand the magnitude of what's happened. Two years ago, when we were in this room, in this particular conference, we did not have this. Now we have. We have a, you know, we have a federal agency with, with, uh, with the authority to change the rules of the game. You know, that is their mission. They want to protect consumers. It, it, it is in their name. It's the P version of it. So, they, so they're on our side. So yeah. <clears throat> So, you know, and, and what we have to recognize is that their mission is our mission. We want exactly the same thing, so we need to partner. And I love that, you know, having the outsider perspective because that's exactly where we are, but we need to help them do their work. And they want to hear from us, so, uh, so please, you know, you know, call, write, respond to their, to their request for information. Be a part of that conversation, and, and, and so that, that way we can help them, again, you know, achieve the, the mission because their mission is our mission. You know, earlier this month, as it was noted, you know, the, the uh, CFPB did create the Consumer Advisory Board, and I was fortunate to have been selected as a chair of this board. It's a board of 25 people, extremely, uh, how can I say, illustrious board that, um, that you know, that a, a reporter actually called it an eclectic group of people, and it actually was true. It's a very eclectic group of individuals with, you know, phenomenal resumes, phenomenal experiences about, you know, the financial marketplace, and, uh, and, and I got selected to be the chair for one reason, and the reason is because we at MAF, like many of your organizations, have a direct conversation with actual consumers. We have that insight. 
we have the you know we have the year with them, and they uh, uh, they they want that they they want to lift that up and and and, and that be the centerpiece of, of this particular board. So so I take this you know position very seriously. You know, I take the conversations that we're going to start having at, at CAB and at the network and with CFED and our partners very seriously. And so I want to sort of commit here today uh, that I want to do all my best to take the energy, the enthusiasm of this conference and really channel that in, a, a, you know, in the months and, and years to come so that that way we can actually see a real change in America, real change in progress and really defend the American dream and really make the American dream, you know, more of a reality for many more of us than, 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 than there are today.